What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's gonna be another one of those spur of the moment videos. I just woke up, figured we'd go fishing. Went, cast netted a bunch of baits. Got a bunch of uh, cichlid, tilapia in there. All different sizes so we could pretty much catch anything. Um, and today we're gonna do some scouting. All the spots we're gonna fish today, I've never fished before. I've pretty much driven by them and been like, oh, I wonder if there's fish in there. So today we're gonna figure out if there is fish in there. And if you're watching this, there probably is fish in there. So got the bait ready, got the rods. And we're just gonna drive to the spots now and see if there's anything in them. All right, so this first spot is actually a church. We're gonna give it a shot here. Got a medium sized tilapia on here. It's a good like all around bait size. 25 pound liter, the usual setup. Give them a good toss out here. See if anybody's home. Let's see maybe out here in the middle. So I'm just kind of breaking it up in sections and working my way down. Freshwater ponds like this, if there are tarpon in them and snook, they will definitely just hang out in the middle of the pond. I don't know why, it seems to be a lot different than if you're fishing backwaters. Uh, snook don't usually just hang out in the middle of nowhere, not saying they never do, but they definitely seem to sit in different spots in freshwater ponds than they do in normal situations, so I don't know why. Okay, so no luck in the first spot. I'm gonna jump across the street here because there's a little pond that I have fished before and I've hooked a couple tarpon in it and then I came back like psh, three or four times and didn't catch a single thing. But I figured while well, I'm here, I'll give it a shot. It also gets fished a lot. I see people here all the time, so it's not like it's a big secret. So this is definitely like brackish. You can see the water has that tan color to it. It smells way different than that pond across the street. All right, so we might switch it up. We might do a bobber and like a slightly smaller bait. Okay, so what we need is the perfect size bait, which is that dude right there. Alrighty, got a beautiful little cichlid here. And uh, I'm gonna toss him out here on a bobber this time. And see if Mr. Tarpon wants him. So when I said that I actually lost uh, two fish here earlier, that was two huge tarpon. They were way bigger than what should be in this tiny little pond. It was kind of weird, but they both spit the hook on me. I didn't break off on either of them. So I guess if we do hook one, it'll just be kind of like a revenge. Is that a snakehead? There's a snakehead over there. There's a snakehead over here, guys. Oh, big snakehead, boys. Big snakehead, guys. All right, so I'm gonna take this bobber off. I've actually never caught a snakehead, but I know that they're not the brightest of fish. Oh, yeah, got it. There it is. Oh. He's jumping. They fight harder than I thought they would. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. He's a big boy. So like I just said, I've never actually caught a snakehead, but I feel like this is a really big one. Jeez. They're pretty strong. I guess it makes sense considering their entire body's pretty much a fin. Oh, he's spinning. Oh, that's cool. These things look so trippy. How do you... He wrapped himself. Uh, I didn't like that. Come on, dude. Come here, Mr. Sneakhead. What a cool looking fish. These things are cool. Try and get his body. Come here, buddy. Wow. That's freaking cool. All right, so I just noticed something super cool with this guy. First, there's a fish. So that's a bullseye snakehead. Obviously, they're invasive. Anybody watching this probably knows that. But check out what I just noticed on this dude. He's missing an eye. So it's a one-eyed bullseye snakehead. I mean, it looks like it's almost from birth. I guess if he was really young and he lost it, maybe it would heal that well, but that's pretty wild. Like I said earlier though, this is my first snakehead ever, so I guess for my first snakehead, that's probably pretty good. We do get them here in Naples, obviously, and uh, 
I don't think they're going anywhere. Um, everyone who catches them on YouTube and everything, they always just put them back. I'm gonna do the same. I'm sure I'll get a bunch of comments like, oh, it's invasive, why'd you throw it back in the water? Everything in Florida is invasive, so. Super fun to catch. I'm kind of glad they invaded us. All right, let's get this guy back in the water. The really cool thing about that is I sight casted this dude, which I guess you probably do with a lot of snakehead. I don't really know, not an expert. I do know that they can stay out of water for pretty much ever because they uh, they always live in like super low oxygenated water and nasty, disgusting mud puddles and stuff. So as you saw, he just swam off like nothing. All right, let's get back out there. All right guys, so we're going back to a medium sized bait. I don't know why, this whole side thing looks really snooky to me. Could be totally wrong. Smashed. Oh yeah. He's going up. Okay. So that's a big tarpon. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I thought it'd be a snook. Oh my gosh. Why do I always do this to myself? At least it's a circle hook, so hopefully it's in the corner of his mouth. Where's he even going? Oh, he's on something. I feel it, he's on something. Probably that pipe. Yeah. Um, <laughs> chances of getting this one, guys, I'm gonna give it, oh, he's over at the other side of the pond. That was crazy. Um, yeah. Kinda figured that was gonna happen, seeing the size of that fish, but uh, it would be uncool to throw back out there with 25 pound leader. All right, boys, that's gonna be it for this video. Super short video. Um, I guess that's not really a bad thing though. Since TikTok and Instagram and all that has probably ruined everybody's attention spans at this point, it's probably good that the video is short. Got a bunch of other videos planned. So as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.